By 1974, Jay Hammond had put in 12 years as a state representative, senator, and senate president. He was mayor of the Bristol Bay Borough, where he flew and ran a guiding business on the side. Despite his ambivalence about being a politician, Hammond went on to be a two-term governor who oversaw the creation of the Alaska Permanent Fund, the dividend program, and, to his chagrin, the repeal of the personal income tax. When I ran first time, I said, I'm not spending a nickel of my own money. This is ridiculous, not a chance of winning. And as you may or may not know, I was conned into running because of a call from Ron Somerville. Ron Somerville was a biologist, fish and game department. I didn't know Ron very well, but I was weathered in down in Naknek with a, one of my clients, fishermen. And, uh, I got this phone call and <clears throat> picked it up and it was Ron Somerville. He said, few of us sitting around think you ought to run for governor. At the time I stopped laughing, I said, Ron, I'm not at all interested in bleeding myself white financially for the privilege of saying I ran unsuccessfully for governor. Forget it. And he said, he got to talking further and he said, well, would you consider it if we put together a campaign organization and came up with some funding? I said, well, that's the only way I'd ever consider it. He hung up. And I had a fisherman from uh, California, very wealthy guy there. He said, hey, if you run, you got a $1,000 check in the mail right now. I said, forget it. That's a check you'll never have to write. Two weeks later, Ron called me up and he said, okay, we got an organization put together. We got some funds committed. And you said, wait a minute. In his mind, again, <laughs> consideration translated into commitment. And I arguing against it, I said, I never said I'd run if you do that. And he said, well, will you come in and at least talk to us in town here? So I, next time I flew into town, I met with my campaign organization, all six of them. I don't remember who they were. I think Av Gross, uh, Ron, uh, Mary T maybe Terry Gardner, Clem Tilly, about six people. And I could, all, I could tell that all of them had been told by Ron that I would run if they do these things. And again, being a sucker and not having guts enough to say, hey, I never promised, and turning my back on it, I knew they'd all leave there thinking I'd broken a commitment. So when I found what we had in the bank committed in the way of funds at that moment, $800, I agreed to run thinking, well, I'll run for a week and then go back to the hills where I belong. And now they had said they would commit more money if I had agreed, but at that time, I think it was $800. That was all that was in the kitty. And, and so I, I don't remember what I did. I remember uh, one thing I didn't mind doing campaigning was going around beating on doors. It gave me some exercise and I always been kind of a physical fitness buff and that I didn't mind doing, but I had the briefest campaign pitch you can imagine. I'd go to a door, had a little flyer, I'd say, hello, I'm Jay Hammond, I'm running for governor, I wonder if I can leave you this, <laughs> zip. <laughs> and I'd leave, usually they'd nod and say yes, and I'd left on a positive note. But where I thought, and I had no, no idea I'd win this thing, this is ridiculous. And the response of people, when I'd go around the community, who, who, who this? bearded yahoo that has the audacity to run against Wally Hickel and Bill Egan and, and, uh, and uh, Keith Miller and so forth. Yeah.